everyone, it's Emily and welcome to another part of the Upgrowth Challenge. As you can see, we're starting off with a very sick doggo. So I actually, before I hopped in to record this part, I went to work with Lawrence. He just got back from work. We paid the bills, we got the mail, and um, then our dog was sick. Well, I realized our dog was sick at that point. And I went in and added a vet clinic to the world because I felt like um, you know, we should be able to take care of our pets in this challenge. I shouldn't have to go send them to Brindleton Bay just to, like, fix the pets or, like, get the little get well treat thing. Um, usually I keep a few of those on hand in my households because I kind of like having them so I don't have to always take them to the vet. But I renovated, I had a lot in the world that was a bakery, but I didn't have anyone, like, moved in to run the bakery. There wasn't any way to, like, purchase baked goods there. So I just renovated that bakery area that's like on the side of this house into a little vet clinic and obviously it's not super appropriate for the generation because there is that little like touch screen sign in thing um and some of the equipment's probably more advanced than what they would have had but like I feel like just the general exam table is fine so I'm going to take the dog to the vet and that's going to be our first order of business today. Oh my god our vet appears to be sick that's just great he has an illness um very exciting so we're just gonna, you know, sign the general in for his cure. He is so old and sick now. Makes me very sad, um, but he's about to get better soon. And this is our little vet clinic. It used to be a bakery. There was like a whole little kitchen back here. And over here was like this decorative, it was a giant oven. Actually, this lot was really cool. I think Holly Beebe made this lot. She made the challenge and she made a bunch of lots to go with it. And I think this was, I think she made this 1920s bakery. I'm not totally sure. Someone else on the gallery might have made it for the challenge, but I'm pretty sure that she made it but either way whoever made it did a really good job and I'm sorry I had to destroy it and turn it into this god-awful vet clinic and oh this cat is getting treated before us I guess that's okay where's the general can you call him over oh he's just hanging out in the house that's nice um you can hang out over there I guess but I would like you to be with me and there's this little sitting area how cute um and there's also we can buy i'm actually going to purchase some pet items because i would like to have some treats on hand so we don't always have to do this um i'm not going to get any of the ones that affect their age because i'm not cheating in this challenge and i feel like those are kind of cheaty um but i am going to get like two wellness treats okay so apparently okay this is being some weird glitchy text thing um, but we can do basic treatment, expensive treatment, or decline treatment. Obviously, we're going to do the expensive treatment because we have the money right now. We just paid our bills. We're doing pretty good. And, um, yeah, there he, there we go. He's all good to go. He's all feeling better. Um, we can go pet him and then bring him on home. But look at him. He's so old and sad, but still cute and adorable. I gave him a collar. Um, I actually had to go into create a sim because I deleted a bunch of custom content and I accidentally deleted uh, Edith's hair. So there was that. Her hair was kind of ugly anyway, let's be honest. Um, it was all kind of just one solid color. So she has some new hair and I think that it's a lot better. Oh, I forgot to paint that wall. <laughs> Okay, so guys, I have been working on the new house for this family for a long time. Well, really, I, I worked on it at one point and then I just put it off for a really long time and I finally finished it, but here's the thing. I don't really have room in my schedule over the next few weeks to post the build for the house, so... I'm thinking that we're actually going to move into the house in the first part of Next Generation. I just wanted to bring that up just so you guys know because I have been talking about um, doing stuff like moving them into a new house at some point for a while I feel like and um yeah I just wanted you guys to know like what's going on with that so the new house is done but like I said I don't really have room in my schedule to post it so I think we're just gonna technically the third generation you're not supposed to do any upgrades to the house but I think that it's fine like going into the third generation if we just like move into a completely new house because I really love the house and um I really want them to live in it it's really cute and pretty and and yeah, I just like it a lot. I hope you guys like it too. But I wanted to be able to post the build video and have them move into the house in the same week. And that just wouldn't happen um, if I tried to have them move into it this part or next part. So I thought that we would save it and keep it special for the third generation. 
Also, um, Edith is pregnant and she is also about to age up to be an adult. She has one day until she ages up and she's in her third trimester. So I don't really have like family drama in this series yet and I don't really necessarily want to start family drama right now. Like I'm kind of liking just having some chill gameplay for now. Maybe at some point we'll spice it up. But this challenge does have some built-in ways to spice it up with the dice rolls. And the for the third gener or the second generation, when your sim is pregnant in the adult life stage, you have to like roll for their pregnancy and like their life and stuff, kind of like we did in the first generation with every pregnancy, but now it's only in the adult life stage. She's technically still a young adult, but I kind of just want to roll just for funsies because she's like, she's probably going to age up to be an adult on the same day that she gives birth. So I feel like we should do a dice roll and um, see what happens. <laughs> so for the first dice roll, you're supposed to um, check... Oh yeah, you if you roll doubles, the baby doesn't survive, and then if you roll snake eyes for your second roll, the mother dies in childbirth. So I think that we're gonna do the roll for the baby really quick and see what happens. And if the baby lives, then I won't roll again for her until she actually like has the baby, I think. Um, because we would have to wait anyway to find out. Or we'd have to wait anyway to like kill her off after she gives birth. So I think that that's um, what we're going to do with this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a little dice roll for the baby. It has to be doubles. And my first roll is a six. And my second roll is a four. So we're having the baby. <laughs> So that's good. Um, but Edith could still die, so we'll see what happens. Also, um, I just updated my game today from the new patch update, um, and I feel like my game's been running a lot smoother. I was noticing before the patch that whenever I would try to speed it up, it would get really laggy and kind of weird, and that's odd considering that I have a good computer, like there's no reason for the game to lag, but it would be kind of weirdly laggy. And I feel like my game's been running a lot smoother since the patch. So I hope that you guys, if you had any issues in your game, I hope they're resolved as well, because I think that my game is running much better. Also, little Ellie is going to age up tomorrow as well, along with her mom. So I think that we're going to have a family birthday party at a restaurant. I think we're going to try that out and see how it goes. I want to, I think I'm just going to have it be like a family dinner, but I'm just going to age both of them up at the family dinner because I want to go out to a restaurant with the rest of the family that we don't get to see as much. And I think that restaurants are fun in The Sims, so we're going to do that. <laughs> Okay, I just got the notifications that it's Eleanor and Edith's birthdays, or Ellie, I guess, um, and Edith's birthdays, so I am I think that we're actually going to have like a nice little family lunch so that I don't miss their birthdays, because I'm kind of worried about waiting um, 12 hours to have their birthdays. Also, that was broken, and he couldn't reach it, because I kind of moved objects it up on to this surface, so I just deleted it, because we already have a stereo and, or a little like what's it called? So I don't think we need two of them because that's a little excessive and I'm trying to uh, minimize this house. I think we might do a little bit of um, packing, if you will, um, kind of to get their house ready to move into the new one. I might start deleting some items and putting in some little like moving boxes around. I think that that would be kind of fun. Also, I know I said that I'm trying to like minimize the amount of things in this house, but I thought that we would go ahead and grab another little dog statue for the general, and that's something that we'll carry with us into our next house, and we'll just continue building our little family tree of pets. <laughs> oh, school for Lucille starts in about an hour. That's no good. I would like you to um, take a vacation day and stay at home and go to a nice family birthday lunch. That's what I planned for the day. Actually, since all of my sims are kind of in like good moods and pretty well fed and stuff, I think that we might have the birthday party not at a restaurant and we might do it somewhere else because if no one's really hungry, then I don't want to have them go pay for all this food that they're not even hungry to eat and um, waste our money on frivolous dinner outings <laughs> that we don't need to be paying for. Oh my god, she's in labor. Okay, was not prepared for that. I guess we're just gonna plop a um, what's it called? A little bassinet down somewhere because the 
baby is going to immediately be a toddler. Well, I think I'm going to leave them as a baby for like a hot minute so that we can go to this um, birthday thing and not have to deal with that. But ooh, all these plates I can sell. Um, and then we'll, we'll, fi we'll figure it out. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> have the baby, please. He's freaking out. Everything's good, Lawrence. Calm down, buddy. You're the doctor here. You're the professional. Okay, come on. I love this little elephant thing. It's the dumbest thing. Like, what is this little detail? I love how babies are literal objects in this game, but they put enough detail to have this little, like, is it an elephant or a mouse? It's an elephant. To have this little elephant hanging inside the bassinet, like, they could have easily left that out, but they put in so much detail to have the elephant, but babies are just objects. Whatever. Um, okay, it's a boy. Cool. We already knew that. And let me find some names. Okay, so we have checked our baby name suggestions. I looked through all the ones for the past like three or four parts, and I think that I'm gonna go with Clyde. So yeah, we have Clyde Baker. Very exciting. <laughs> Good old Clyde. Baby born is so exciting. Okay. Look at that, we've got a child. <laughs> let's you should probably we always feed them first that's always the plan oh i forgot we have to roll for her life oh my god this birthday party might be miserable if she dies um let's just do that really quick okay we are going to roll and okay our first roll was a one let's hope we don't get another one Oh, we got a one and a two. Okay, so Edith is safe. <laughs> that was very stressful. Um, okay, yay. Glad that uh, she did not just drop dead before the birthday party. That would have been um, half the birthday party we were expecting. So yeah, we've got all the birthdays happening today. We could have it at the Von Haunt estate. This could be like a fancy birthday party. You know what? Why not? Why not mix things up and go somewhere fancy. I don't know how appropriate this is going to be for the generation and all. Um, I think it should be pretty fine. I mean, it's basically like a museum lot, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, we can just kind of confine it to the inside and not uh, really stray outside to where there's like a DJ booth, because I'm pretty sure that's a thing. <laughs> oh yay, look at the family and all their party wear. You are not in your party wear, ma'am. Can you... Clyde has been sent to daycare. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And then when we come back from this, we'll age him up and it'll just be one big family birthday. <laughs> Look at- oh no, that's her sleepwear. What the heck? Can we not? Um, outfits. This one. Oh yeah, her, her party wear is so fun. I'm actually really excited about this. Look at them. Look at this stylish fam. She- <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. I gave her this as her party wear, but it's actually, um, Lucy's sleepwear, so that's kind of funny, but it's all good. Oh, we can have cousin family fun times, or aunt and niece family fun times. Oh, it's okay. Weird, weird age gaps in this family. Definitely gonna try to avoid that for future generations. Also, I'm thinking that Lucy, when she ages up, I might move her out on her own and kind of like play with her, like, starting from nothing and have her build her life up. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, we have a lot of roped off areas uh, because this is basically like a museum. So I'm just going to see where I can best put this cake and we can actually celebrate them aging up because all of these areas are kind of like roped off. Okay, I just added a giant dining table up here because I wanted them, um, I wanted the whole family to have a little like cake celebration up here. So I'm going to add everyone to a group really fast so that we can just kind of like go up there with the group. Okay, well I have the immediate family pretty much all in a group. So I'm just going to have them um, come up and sit together. And our little toddler is going to have quite a time going up all the stairs. So I kind of left her out of the group. I hope that's okay. Um, but she can come hang out over here. Go here. How about that? <laughs> that's good enough. And I think we're just going to put our cake in the middle of the table, and I think that Edith should do the honors and um, make a wish. Come on, it's your birthday. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Okay, let's let's get in on this. Let's get in on the good screenshot action here. Oh gosh, my camera is flying all. Okay, I always forget. Oh, look at those pretty mountains. Can I go down? Oh. 
Okay, I did not want to go down that far. Thank you, game. Maybe we can just zoom out a lot. Oh, look at how pretty this is. I, this is why I love this lot. Pull out your candles. Oh, cute. Oh my god, I just got... Okay, what am I... Where even am I? Where are my sims? They're down here? Okay, cool. Okay, this is... This is good. This is nice. I'm satisfied enough with this. <laughs> Yay, Edith aged up. Adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crises await. The perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. And she still cannot seem to write, um, what's it called? Um, birthday candles, birthday candles, please, please, please. Um, but she still can't seem to write songs on the violin, so that's kind of an issue. But it's, it's all good. Um, I think I'm actually just gonna put this back in her inventory. What the heck is this? Let's sell it. Um, but I'm just going to put it back in her inventory because I'm going to move these tables or I'm going to move one of these tables. Okay. We're up on the roof, um, or in floating air back. I'm going to move it downstairs so that our little tot can age up too. And I'm just going to, you know, delete these because they're not really necessary down here. <laughs> just need a nice little toddler table. Okay, now it's toddler time. <laughs> Let's help blow out the candles, Eleanor. Cute. This is going to be adorable. Can you get off of my lot modern person? Please and thanks. See, look at how smooth. Like, my game is actually working when it's sped up. Before, they would just get kind of frozen, and it was a shame. Oh my god, that's precious. Can This girl is ruining my screenshot. I really want to delete her, but she is kind of our neighbor and friend, and I don't think that we should. But look at how cute. she She's really just right in the way right now. I could always go like this. We could do one of these. <laughs> That's not too bad. Okay, I'm satisfied. I love the confetti. It makes me so happy. Today my boyfriend sent me a text, and apparently if you just say congrats like an iMessage, it just automatically sends it with confetti, but I thought that he was just doing it for fun, and he sent me a fun confetti message, but he told me that it just kind of auto-did that for him. So, whoops. She's got the creativity, and she is... she loves the outdoors. Very exciting. Or, loves outdoors. I guess that's just the, the phrase. Oh, little Ellie has aged up. We're gonna have to give her a nice makeover after this. But look, our birthday party. So exciting. And I think that we should uh, maybe, well, I guess we can socialize. What can we do on this lot that's fun? Someone can play the piano. Ooh, I want to get you into playing the, oh, she has to pee really bad. I'll let her take care of that. And then I want her to come play the piano. I also really like what they did in this section with this little like roofy thing. I think that it's really nice. What else can we do on this lot? I feel like we really can't do anything on this lot. We can have them all take take peace together. That's exciting. You know what? Her look is bothering me. I'm going to give her a makeover uh, right now. Okay, so here's Eleanor's second everyday wear, actually. She's just got this nice little dress on, got the classic knee socks of this generation, and the little Mary Janes. Pretty much a similar thing for her first outfit. I gave her this little, like, ruffly dress because it kind of reminded me of a flapper, but it is a pretty short dress, so we've got the little knee sock skin and the Mary Janes, and that's a theme in pretty much all of her outfits as it was for Lucy's outfits. So she also has this for her formal wear, got a nice little sweater, and her athletic wear that we'll never see again, and her sleepwear. Very exciting. And then her little red party wear. I like this bow in the back of this dress so much. I always forget that this dress has that. And most of the prints on this dress are the cat print, but I picked one of the nice neutral ones because unlike her sister, she is not a cat lover at least not yet. She just loves outdoors. And then for her swimwear, we have this thing that we might see, we might not ever see again. So there's that. Everyone's taking a nice slice of cake. I'm gonna let them uh, finish their cake and then we will resume. Oh, Lucille has the piano skill. She, Lucy, I mean, <laughs> she's over here just play in a way. I really want her to get into the entertainer career because that's available for females. And since she'll be our third generation heir, she, I think, is allowed to have a job even if she's not, or even if she is married, I don't think she has to be a housewife. So I want her to be in the entertainer career and kind of pursue music is what I'm thinking because she is outgoing. So I think it makes sense she would want to be an entertainer. And, um, 
meet people that way. So yeah, that's kind of my plan for her life right now. Oh, this is so pretty. I really love this area so much. I love the waterfalls. Windenburg makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, look at this ghosty. Let's... Oh, she's gone. <laughs> okay, never mind. Who are you flirting with? Oh. Are you flirting with my Sims husband? I think that's what's happening. That's kind of uncomfortable. Okay, he is very flirty and his wife is right there. That's fantastic. Oh, she didn't even get any of her own cake. That's kind of sad. Sorry about that. Ellie, you missed out. Okay, I feel like she's really hungry and this party's kind of wrapping up, so I'm just going to end it and send my Sims home so we can do birthday party number three of the day. Or I guess birthday party number two, but birthday number three? I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, now that we're home, Clyde is returned from daycare. That's nice. He's asleep and not for long because he is about to age up. Oh, Meredith has sent Clyde a gift. Okay, now we have to randomize his other trait or his toddler trait. <laughs> I always forget that I randomize the traits in this challenge and then I just, I don't know. <laughs> okay, he is silly. Okay, so his everyday wear is this super cute little onesie thing. It's floral. I think it's adorable. It's one of the cottage garden fan-made stuff pack things, um, like custom content fan-made stuff pack things that came out. So yeah, it's really cute. I like a lot of the clothes from that. And then this is his formal wear, his sleepwear. He's got these little puppy slippers, which I also love. I think they're adorable. And he just like randomly generated with those on. So I just kept them because I thought they were really cute. And then he's got my classic little um, early era toddler PJs. <laughs> Like my little nightgown set. That's This is one of the little things that came with that. So yeah, he has that. And then he has this little conversion thing that um, is for toddlers. And it's a cute little bow tie suspender dealio. And I think it's adorable for this time period. So yep, that's Clyde. And now we can delete his little toddler bed. Perfect. Or not toddler bed, his little bassinet. Goodbye, bassinet. We don't need you anymore. No one in this family is having kids for a while. Where did you go? Oh, she just popped over there. She already got herself some food. Smart girl. How about you go take a little bath? I'm just gonna take care of my Sims needs really quick, and then I think I'm gonna wrap the part up for the day. She Is she playing dolls by herself? I think that's what's happening. Yeah, it's definitely what's happening. Okay, can you maybe um do something productive for me? Oh my god, my thing... My... That's rude. My clothesline broke. Come repair this, please. What the heck is this nonsense? This is awful. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. I can't believe my clothesline broke. I did not know that could happen. Okay, if you guys have laundry and you haven't played with clotheslines yet, be warned, they can break. <laughs> okay, just go ahead. Okay, let's scavenge for parts. What kind of parts can you scavenge from a broken clothesline? Okay, whatever. It's fine. I really am- actually, I'm kind of curious. Oh, I just had to throw it away. <laughs> Whoops. I guess we're not going to scavenge for parts. <laughs> I like how I was like, oh yeah, what kind of parts will we find? But then I clicked throw away. Okay, whatever. Anyway, I think that I should probably end the part now. And um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed. We accomplished a lot. We fixed our dog. We aged everyone up. The family is looking good. No one died. And um, I'm pretty pleased with how things went. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed our little birthday party vet visit and hopefully next time we will have wait is next time next time's our last part of this generation of the second generation oh my god i just realized that okay well in two parts we will be starting a new generation so that's super exciting if you have any ideas of things that you want to see for our little finale of this generation let me know in the comments and i will try to make that happen for next week but until then i hope that you guys enjoyed this week and that's all i have thanks for watching bye